Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to continue with this little miniature that we are working on here for the Easter time. Um, I wanted to stop by to say a few words about scales um, on miniature because this one is definitely not in scale. Um, so mostly what I am doing I am bringing with me for the sales exhibitions and then it really needs to be in scale because everyone wants to have it in the right size for their houses and that's perfect but once in a while it's just fun to do something that you really like something that turns out different something that is not into some kind of scale and you know what that's also perfectly fine it's a hobby I'm not working with this as a job, it's my hobby and I love to share my hobby. So once in a while you will see me make something that is out of scale like this one. And this one was actually mostly a challenge for me because my husband came with the box. You saw that in the last video, I will link for that in the info box below. And uh, in this box there was a few things, the little mailbox here, the door a rabbit and a wheelbarrow and a few other things and I just thought hey that could make some kind of fun Easter scene so that was perfect for Easter videos so that's what we are doing right here anyway now it is time to do the rest on this little uh, scenery so we can be done with that and continue with our 1 to 12 anyway back to the table there is a lot of painting in this video, so I'm trying to make it as quick as possible. Of all, I am taking this cute little wood rabbit and I'm painting it all white. Then I let that dry and I use this light brown uh, color to make spots here and there on the body of the rabbits. Just to give it a little more interest to look at and make it more interesting to look at. So I'm just doing that here and there. When this is all dry, I mixed a pink, very light pink color of my paint. So that is a tiny bit of red, a tiny, tiny bit of purple, and then a lot of white. Uh, and I am coloring in this triangular shape for the nose. And I'm also painting the flat parts here on the ears for the inside of the ears again to give it a little more interest to be looking at. Then I have some really, really tiny googly eyes and I'm using some uh, tacky glue to glue these small, small eyes here onto the sides of the head. And I'm making sure that they are sitting uh, across from each other so they look right when you look at it. Then I'm taking some black paint and a toothpick and I am uh, coloring in the mouse here and that is all for the rabbit. In the box of different pieces there was also these two tools here, garden tools, and I decided to paint the sticks here in the light uh, brown color from uh, the spot of the rabbit. Then we have the wheel barrel and um, I was not sure in the first place what to do, so I painted it purple 
and I wasn't really quite sure about this purple color but then again it was nice so I decided to go all purple with the top part of the wheelbarrow remember the inside of it as well and I painted all the rest of this little wheelbarrow in black For the part that is going to look like metal, I am using this true metal that was a bronze color and a um, cotton swap. And I'm just placing this color everywhere where I need uh, it to be this metallic color. I decided to go for this rust um, effect thing that I have and I'm just using a tiny piece of that on a cotton swab and placing that here and there where I think that would be rust on this tool and also on the um, what you call that the other tool <laughs> um, what that called Tell me if you know what these two tools are called in English, please let me know, because I really don't know the English word for these. And I also decided to give the wheelbarrow here and there some rust, so it looks like it have been used for a lot of times and for many years. The box also contained these eggs here. And first of all, I colored them in with, with a very light uh, shaded color. So the one I'm having here is a light um, red, so a very, very light pink. Then I had a light green, light yellow, and a light blue. And I'm just um, decorating these eggs with different colors and different shapes. Um, I'm making a lot of these uh, triangular pokey things. Then I'm making lines. And I'm using a dotting tool for making dots. Here you see the light yellow. Um, and I'm just decorating these uh, eggs until there is no more place for decorating um, and this actually took quite a long time because it's um, a very fiddly job to paint these without putting your fingers into the paint um, but I had a lot of fun with this and I do will leave you to watch my paint of this for the next few minutes and if you don't really feel like watching my ideas for painting these easter eggs then skip ahead to the ending and see me put it all together in the little scenery so i will leave you with the painting
so that was a lot of painting and I even cut out a lot really a lot of painting um, so you didn't see much of it I made sure that all my eggs was completely dry before I continued because I wanted them to be shiny so I gave them a very nice shiny glaze I think I used the Fimo glaze um, I really like the shine on that one uh, but you can use whatever glaze you want now let's put everything together so I'm using the glue that came with the box it's actually a pretty good glue and first I'm gluing this tool and then the other tool in place Then I have these grass tuft here. They are actually for train builders and scenery builders, mostly for trains. Um, and I'm just popping a tiny bit of glue on there and placing them here and there in this little scenery just to make it look a little more real. Then I also have these plastic leaves that I really kind of like and uh, I thought they would fit really nicely here in this uh, along the side over here so I'm just again taking some of the glue popping that on there and placing these leaves just like I want them to be uh, sitting here at the side. I am sorry that I am a bit off uh, the camera right here with the, the placing these leaves but this is quite a big build and um, it was hard to get it all under the camera so I hope you can see what I'm doing anyway. Here I'm just placing a tiny dot of glue and then I have this yellow flower soft I think it's called. Um, I have had this for a long long time so one box of this flower soft goes for like forever um, so I'm just placing a tiny dot of glue here and there and then I'm placing some of this flower soft into it and just leaving it there until the glue has dried then you can always uh, take a uh, clean um, paintbrush and brush off the rest of this um, foam here Now I am just going to glue in my rabbit where I want that standing so I'm actually placing a lot of glue here because I want it to stay in place. Placing it and then making sure it will stay where I placed it. Finding my wheelbarrow and deciding for where to place that one and then again just giving that some good amount of glue here and there where it is actually touching the grass and then just pressing that into the grass where I want it. Now this is a tiny bit out of frame. I am sorry about that. It was really hard to do everything in frame here. I have these birds on a tiny stick. Actually, I think they are for placing into flower pots and stuff like that. So I just cut off the stick and then glued these two birds on top of my scenery. Um, I think I will show you here in a second uh, so you can see both birds. Let's see. Yes. So you see one bird uh, on top of the door and one on the um, little extra sidewall. 
then the box had these um chickens in there these hello chickens and i actually think they were really really cute so i had to place them in there as well so i'm just gluing all three in place where i want them And then the most important part of this little build here, the Easter eggs. Here they are all done and glazed and I'm just deciding how to place them. And I am going to use my super glue, uh, my super glue gel. I like that a lot, this gel glue. And just placing them where I want them. Thank you for watching this video. I know this is not in scale, but I had a lot of fun with this one anyway. So all there is left is wishing you guys a happy Easter and I will see you next week. Bye. Ha ha ha.